Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this little vlog of mine. It's currently 3 in the morning and I'm making myself something to eat. I'm cooking a bit. I'm not that hungry but um, yeah, I just had something on my mind that I wanted to tell you guys about so um, we're gonna we're gonna make us uh, something to eat, then go back into my office, and then we're gonna talk about some little things. It's just bacon cubes. I'm using olive oil to make the cube bacons right now, but it would probably taste better if I just done it with butter. I have butter here. I just forgot to use it. So next, we're gonna put in some onions and garlic that I prepared beforehand. You just cook them until they have a nice like brownish color. Um, you don't have to use salt or pepper because they um, the, the pan was already coated with the salt from um, the cube bacon. Grill it until it has a nice color. Now, the meat should be done. So, the meat should be done. We'll just let it cool and after that, uh, we're gonna cut it on the cutting board. We're gonna slice it into strips. Let's open the window so um, the I don't know the English word for that, so that the machine isn't too loud. We take out our favorite bowl, we place some of our rice into it. One of our steaks. onions on top of it and of course our bacon Ta-da! So this is how our um, late meal looks like bacon, onions and steak um, So <laughs> probably like fitness people or healthy eating people are going to slap me in my face right now. I don't care. This is just like to get me my mind off some stuff. Let's get to eating. So what did I want to talk about? So, um, so it's Christmas Eve. It's the 24th of December. Um, it's 3.45. So it's a quarter before um, for so it's not Christmas Eve anymore it's Christmas Day and I just got um, some messages actually I got them um, a few days before uh, I just had to like think about a lot of things so um, yeah I'm I lost my my restaurant, my family lost their restaurant. Now a lot of people might um, think, but Lee, you come from Germany and like a social security is like a big deal. Um, like how could you lose a restaurant? It has nothing to do with Corona, um, like in general. It has been furthered by Corona in special. So what is this situation? Um, my restaurant is in a mall so the mall was created by um, someone living in paper town the city i live in right now my family's been inside that building for more than 12 years so we've been there for a very long time <clears throat> due to some dispute over how how um, much money we put into the renovation um, we we and the landlord had some discussions and a dispute. Um, it didn't seem too bad. Before Corona, we're actually trying to 
grow our uh, restaurant in size and it looked like it would be really really successful like the nego negotiations were very very successful but then suddenly corona hit and we told the landlord sorry bro we can't really afford to uh, increase our size anymore our um, landlord initially seemed okay with it. On the surface, everything seemed fine. But in the background, he was working with his legal department to throw us out of the building because he wanted something else inside of that spot that we were in. Now, since our contract requires us to do some things and meet some requirements, and we did um, agree to them, um, they were able to throw us out in spite of Corona because Corona, like the Corona laws, German Corona laws only save you from when you as a private person have to like move out of your apartment because you can't pay the rent. It doesn't cover the expenses of a business or a restaurant. Um, we ask our lawyer if there's anything to be done but he confirmed that they were on the right side on the legal side <clears throat> and we have to leave the mall building um, by january they gave us the opportunity to maybe to maybe move out of the building in june but that is a big maybe we asked for it we requested it and they said they're gonna check if that's possible but that's just like us um, like trying to get some, like asking them nicely. If they say no, we can't do anything against it. Not on a legal way, not on any way. I've been war working in the gastronomy field for a long time. Like since I was 12 years old. I served the state for six years. Um, even the state is not able to give me any help. I do not, I do still have some money um, put aside for these kinds of emergency so I will not immediately become homeless or anything but it's still my future doesn't look as bright as it was at the beginning of this year when I still hadn't known anything about corona <clears throat> but in the end of this year even though it might not be the main trigger for what has happened, it certainly amplified the effects of our um, dispute with our landlord. <clears throat> um, at the end, instead of fulfilling our three-year contract until um, 2022, we are now forced to leave in January 24, uh, 2021. This all sounds very dark <clears throat> I do have some options beside working in the guest uh, in a restaurant now this might all seem very dark but I do have some options outside of working in a restaurant you might now ask why don't you just work in a different restaurant Lee, didn't you tell us like you were like working for a five-star hotel for the restaurant and stuff? Yes, I was working there to prepare myself to take over my family's restaurant and to continue working in my own restaurant. I've served other people for six years already. And I wanted to start working for myself, not having to ask people when or what to do. For a lot of you guys, you might now think, well, stop crying, start working, what are you talking about, right? But it might be that I'm going to take a change from the work that I did. So I'm not going to serve people food anymore but maybe it is time to follow my dreams and do what I do. As of the 25th of December 2020 at 4 in the morning, this is of course, this is just like wish thinking and I don't know how it's going to continue from here on.
but I do hope that with the savings that I have, that I will be able to become an influencer and full-time content creator. I know I only have 200 followers on Instagram, only 300 followers on Twitch, only 50 subscribers on YouTube. But I think that if I concentrate and take this seriously, I might create content that is fair for you. So, and that people might like. What I'm trying to tell you guys is, even if it looks really dark, really, really dark, don't lose hope. If I suggest this to my friends and family, there's a very high possibility that they will laugh at me, that they will tell me that I'm stupid, and that I should do something like everyone else. But never in the history of humankind have people rose up to become something special or to fulfill their dreams by listening to others telling them that they can do something that it's wishful thinking to do something like that okay if you don't take a first step you will never get to where you want to be so at the end of this message even though it's about unemployment and uh, maybe even depression sleeplessness at four in the night what i want to tell you guys is don't lose hope give your best and everything's going to be fine this has been my first vlog if you guys like it leave a like if you guys liked it subscribe to me and um you know, what else is there to say merry christmas <laughs>